the show has baseball for you on a Friday night as you get a look at Chase Field in Phoenix. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Get ready for Diamondbacks baseball next. Archie Bradley gets the start for Arizona in this one. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, last year, ERA was not good. Skyrocketed all season long. He's open to post a much better year this time around. D.J. LeMayhew heads for the batter's box, and we are Leading just about ready for, for some evening baseball. Second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. He You'll take production like that anytime you can get it. It makes a starter's life easier. Heck, it makes your whole staff breathe easier. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. At the very least, What's up, he's showing some patience Sorry, here to start the ball game. Well, that'll be important for him as What's we move on, along buddy? tonight. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1-2. and two. Yeah, you can tell right there. 0-2, oh he's just thinking about protecting the plate. And he nearly chased a bad one there. But he caught himself at the last possible instant. A little late on the fastball, but I'm he's good, able to score that one off. And he'll get Finally got a chance. day off today. <clears throat> I'll get to play some video games. Here he That's comes on good. a ball and two strikes. Still one and two as he fouls it away. <coughs> Ready on one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Peralta on the move, but this will land foul shy of the wall. I think I'm going to buy Fallout 4, man. You, have you played that? Push to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. And a moment now to peek at the Rockies' starting lineup. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Steve? Well, Matt, this team has elite speed, so all you have to do is keep the ball on the ground, focus on hitting line drives, and play small ball. Charlie Blackman will stand in now following <clears throat> that seven-pitch at-bat to begin the ball game. If he was smart, he would have gotten a pretty good look at all seven of those pitches from that on-deck circle. Into the windup and the pitch. Called strike on the knuckle curve, and he's ahead of the count, nothing in one. Just get, get really repetitive. <clears throat> I don't know, that new gun running thing looks pretty cool though. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hot shot on the ground is short, and that's through for a hit. Keeps the streak going. What is that, 21 games now? And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting yep. streak will indeed wow. live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Can you imagine waking up every morning, coming to the ballpark, knowing that you're going to get a base hit like he's feeling it right now? I'll have to try the, Carlos Gonzalez try the gun running will step thing, forward now. Currently third in the National League batting race to begin playing. Well, right now he's in the prime of his career, so these are the years you'd really expect to see the best of what a guy's going to have to offer. Runners going. Pitch inside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Just your classic single and a stolen base. Now with one out in the first, another base hit here to put that first run on the board. Yeah, I like one the stunt races. No That's like the last base. time I played it was when the stunt came out.
swing and a liner. I didn't even play any of the biker uh, gang thing ball. or anything. That's how long I haven't played. <clears throat> One and one, here it is. Hit out towards second. Drury takes it in. On to first, and there are two down. And with a quick breather here, let's bring in a look at the defensive alignment for the Diamondbacks. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, when you talk about the great players in the game, Paul Goldschmidt is at the top of any list. Known for his offense, defensively he has made great strides. In fact, in 2015, he won the National League Gold Glove Award at first base. Helps his infield out tremendously, an asset over at first base. One of the players to watch in this ball game. Yeah, the only thing that sucks is it's so everything's so expensive. Aaron Judd oh, stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Boy, no fear in that location. He just ramped well, up. You have to play it constantly right in order to be able to buy anything. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A nice. Dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. Yeah, that's a good job right there with two away to pick up the first run of the ball game from third base. Very important to cash in when you're given the early opportunities, and he comes through big time right there. Joey Gallo steps in looking to get it going offensively. Things have not been going his way of late. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Well, time to look at our umpires right, in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. I think Lawrence is pretty consistent and respected for his strike zone. He doesn't seem to miss many pitches too often. The 1 0 delivery. Chased oh. a bad one there, one and one. Wow, no chance of getting on top of that fastball. I mean, that's helmet level right there. Rocket to third. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. down to his left knee to just try to knock the ball down but it was on him so quickly he had no chance to do anything here's Mark Reynolds as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one now here's a spot with a run home already that looks nice on the scoreboard, but if you could put up a two or even a three spot here in the first, that could really go a long way against a guy like this. There's the knuckle curve laid off one and one. Hit hard on the ground to second. Right to him. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Rockies are out in front, one to nothing. Jake Peavy will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, guys, not a big strikeout pitcher here on the mound, so expect to see a lot of balls put in play, defense being very involved. Should be fun to watch. A.J. Pollard comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Center fielder, A.J. Pollard. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. E.K., as we take a look at the Rockies' starting play here tonight, 4-2 over their last six games, including a win last time out. 
they come into this one fresh off a four and two homestand so they'll be hoping to get the same sort of production as they head out onto this road trip. TV into the windup coming home with the one one pitch this is in the air out the straightaway center Blackman moves over oh and he whiffs on it around second he'll try for third and he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed well, I'm not sure if this will wind up being a triple it really should be a three base error I mean here it is he was there in plenty of time he just winds up with a handful of air and they are going to hit him with an E it's well deserved behind on that one now behind in the count 0 and 1 set to deliver the 0 and 1 on the ground up the middle LeMayhew towards second he's got it and the throw goes to first for the out but that'll be enough to get the run home as they pull back to even at 1 and 1 yeah, that's a good job right here of answering that run. Oh. The top of the first with <coughs> back to a zero zero ball game. Now we're back to level. Paul Goldschmidt digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. First pitch of the at bat. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Throw gets him. Two down. With that, let's take a look at the hometown Diamondbacks lineup card. What's the key for them tonight, Steve? I think you're going to have to try to get on the board early and then don't let your foot off the gas. You've got to keep pressure on this club to not let them back in a ball game. Yosmani Tomas. Gets his first opportunity now, trying to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now a curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. Yeah, trying to go front door with that breaking ball. Started it a little too far inside, though. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So one run scored without the benefit of a hit, one error in the inning, and no one left on base. On to the second inning here in the desert, all tied at one and one. Christian Automais will stand in now, trying to duplicate his performance from yesterday when he finished four for five at the plate. Well, you look at the average on the season, guys, and he's not sneaking up on anybody. Pretty amazing numbers for him right there. So yesterday's performance, obviously no flu. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up with one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the one and two delivery. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the that first out of the inning. Catcher. Well, you know he had the Tony right idea up there, Walter. so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit, and it's an easy play out there in left field. Into the box, Tony Walters. He'll get to take his first cuts here. 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there at the knees, strike one. A check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Right over the top here with the four seam fastball. Good drive through the release. Just threw it right by him at the letters. Stepping in now, Tapia. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Late oh, decision to swing that on. time, and as a result, it's 0-2. And, and you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied at one. Jake Lamb will take his first swings here, and as you can see, not a lot going right for him offensively here in this first month of the year. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. And they may have found a location that they like right here. Two different pitches, both taken on the inside corner. And now they can go just about anywhere they want. TV gets the sign. 0-2 on its way. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. With a moment now, let's bring in a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, Charlie Blackman is one of the most efficient route-running outfielders in the game. You combine that with his great speed, it allows him to cut down deep fly balls in the gap. And he's routinely robbing extra base hits, preventing run scoring plays and helping that pitching staff avoid long innings. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. He's ready, here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. One out, nobody on. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Grounded to the right. LeMayhew gets to it. On to first, and Peavy sets down the first two easily here. Batting seven. Left fielder, number 41. Number 41 will stand in now. Still struggling to get anything going offensively. His numbers look pretty ugly on the season overall, but he did have a multi-hit game yesterday. Oh, and good late movement there from PB on the fastball. It's 0-1. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, he can forget it. 
Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Home run number five on the year. And the Diamondbacks move out in front. It's now two to one. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Here's the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Here's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. One home run and three driven in. Two out, nobody on. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Walter. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. Boy, that's a good take there. I don't think I could have laid off that one. Right, three called, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Leading off the inning, D.J. LeMayhew, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started, set the table for a little bit of a rally. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. Round ball right side. Drury is up with it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The center fielder, Charlie Blackman. Into the box now, Charlie Blackman. He reached on a single in his first try. And I think we mentioned it already, but that extended his hitting streak. Swinging a hot bat right now. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Another multi hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. Yeah, and he's clearly off to a great start, leading the senior circuit here in the first month of the season. And he has to be happy with his results at the plate. He's been locked in, and it's resulting in a lot of games like the one he's having here. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in now. A silver slugger recipient for National League outfielders a year ago. There goes the runner. A pitch out. The throw. And even a pitch out can't do the trick. He's in there at second. Well, that's no surprise to anybody that he's running right here on the first pitch. And these guys defensively, well, they know it too. But that just shows you the kind of speed he has out there. Because even with the pitch out, he's still able to steal that base. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Pollock. Gone. Go yeah, later. Number nine. So it's a two run shot to right center. Home run number nine on the year as the Rockies move out in front now with three two lead. And this is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. 
This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. The left fielder number Into the box now, Aaron, Aaron Judd. Judd. As he looks at a oh, fastball that's in there the for middle. strike one. They're putting that last home run at 419 feet officially. The wind up and the 0-1. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. Next for and now time will be First called here as you see the pitching Joey coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Ooh, Joey Gallo. Gallo is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, strike one. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. <clears throat> well, maybe you see a little cat and mouse game going between the pitcher and the runner right now. We'll see who wins this duel. Runner at first here, one man out. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. go around no he did not ball two and you know sometimes when you're thinking fastball you try to get moving just a little bit early and that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing he's set and the 2 1 pitch to two and two now doing a good job right there of tying him up inside Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Taken for strike three, the throw. Oh, and, and he tagged out the second Son base. of a bitch. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. But the Rockies push across two, both coming on this two-run home run. We played two and a half. It's now 3-2 Colorado. Cattell Marte will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Cattell Marte. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1-0 and oh the count. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Well, not close on either of these first two pitches. He's going to have to find the release point quick before he loses the leadoff guy. Drilled right back up the middle and a base hit so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well that hit extends his streak to lucky number 13 now. That's almost two full weeks where he's been swinging it. A.J. Pollard set to try it again at the plate. He reached on an error and then eventually scored last time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game, so let's see if he can come through with that one right here. TV sets, first pitch on its way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound, really vary your times to the plate. 
you can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. Here comes the 1-0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Third inning. Already a 3-2 ball game. Throw to first now from Peavy. And the runner back. Why not? Make him get dirty. Now a sinker runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. Yeah, you got to be careful there after that leadoff single. You don't want to hit a guy here and really let him get something started. Set to deliver on two and one. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Nobody out, runner on first. Still two and two. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score all the way from first. It's a 3-3 game. Yeah. Well, this is what happens when you allow that leadoff man to get on base. I thought they might hold him at third with nobody out, but he comes all the way around to score from first on the RBI double. Into the box, Brandon Drury, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Here's one that misses high, it's 1-1. One one. No one out with a runner at second. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Now a high fly ball down the right field line that should at least get the runner to third. And this will hop over the wall, but the Man. run will score. Yeah, and even though this bounces over the wall, I don't think it would have made any difference one way or the other. I kind of doubt he would have been thinking about going to three, didn't cut. and the runner was going to score anyway without a problem. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. Skied into straightaway right. Tapia has a read on it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So a double and a fly ball move a man to third now with one away. Now if they could just get another fly ball, it would likely net him a run. Yosmani Tomas digs in now with two already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Well, runs often come in bunches, Matty, and we're going to have to see if that's the case right here. They've got a chance at a big inning. at that point either it's 2-0 the first two pitches here they're both down 
they know that he's trying to get something in the air, try to get a sacrifice fly, so they're going to make it as difficult for him as possible. Now a cut fastball finds the target, two and one. Well, I think the time for patience is over. You've got to make something happen up there when you've got a runner in scoring position. Now a move by the manager to bring the corners in. So they'll try to cut down the runner at home, but they'll give up the run for an out if it's hit to a middle infielder. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Smoke toward third. Reynolds scoops it up. What are you doing? And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. What with the first man? Shot, Jake Lamb. He looked to bounce back wow. after striking out his last time up. And this is a big time mm. strikeout situation right here. So they're going to be shooting for the same result, no doubt about it. And there's the good fastball from PV as Jake gets ahead here, 0 and 1. Now with runners at the corners, up by one with one away, you know, some managers, they will at least consider the possibility of a hit and run here. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Chop foul over towards the dugout. This one's flared out toward left. Judd moving in. He can't get there as it falls in. And he is going to beat the throw home as Man. he scores to make Come this on. a 5-3 game now. And if he was hoping for a return to form, it doesn't look like it's in the cards here. Remember, he gave up six runs his last time out. And this is now five against him here. So something's just not working for him out there. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Seems like they're showing a lot of faith in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Uh, his pitch count has really spiked here in the inning. He's up over 50 already. Three runs already home here. This one's blooped out. Oh, my God. Field. And no one can corral that one. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. Now, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home playing. And for you folks watching at home, might not be a bad idea to go put a pot of coffee on because... This one might take all night. We haven't finished three innings yet and already nine runs across the plate. Time to suck it up. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. First offering on its way. Number 41 is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Yeah, you see there, this four-run innings hurt his pitch count too. It's starting to get up there. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. Four runs here in this half inning. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. A swing, and he pops him up. On the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. And the way this inning's gone, his eyes had to be lighting up on that pitch, but all he could do was pop it up. 
Chris Iannetta stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a big at bat for him right here, even though it's still early. Lays off 1 0. And this is a guy that needs to throw that curveball for strikes. Yeah, when he doesn't have command on it, that's when he has to lean on his fastball. And sometimes that'll get him in trouble. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Yeah, curveball, then change up here on the first couple pitches. Now might be the time to see him run that fastball in on his hands. Maybe try and get this guy to pop something up. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Two down, runners at first and second. Strike three, and that'll put an end to a big inning. Nine men come to the plate, four score. Three innings complete. It's the Diamondbacks six and the Rockies three. Mark Reynolds is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes hit the other way out toward right field. Peralta over to his left. He's got it one away. Now after the four run inning we'll get to see if he approaches things any differently now that he's working with the lead. You, know, you figure the approach will be similar but that's a good job anyway of getting the first out here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Drury moving to his right on to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The catcher, number 14, Tony. And as we take Walton. a look at his pitch count so far, sometimes numbers can be misleading. You see the 38 strikes there, but a lot of those have been on pitches out of the zone that he's gotten guys to swing at. Tony hey. Walters. He's at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Now the 0-1. Boy, and he's turned things around from that last inning as this pitch is swung on and missed. It's 0-2 now. It seems like we've seen a lot of guys late on the fastball tonight. And he's not throwing all that hard either. But when he throws it off the other pitches, that's where it makes it a little more difficult. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so Number far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Ready now, Tapia. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And Matt, that was a pretty nasty breaking ball that buckled him last time up. So it'll be interesting to see if they attack him with the breaking ball again here. Line towards center field. In there, a base hit. Well, that base hit is going to get his hit streak to six games now. So he's swinging it. DJ LeMahieu. DJ LeMahieu stands in trying to make it three straight two out hits. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. And you know how good hitting can prove contagious in an inning. Let's see if he can keep it rolling. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Oh, he's he's got a legitimate gripe right there. I don't know about that one. Here comes the 0 1. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. The relay throw. And he is in there. 
Three hits now in the well, inning. He's pretty fortunate this Center one doesn't Davis. score a run, and Charlene that's going to load Blackmon. the bases now with two away. So it might take a fourth hit here to put something on the board. Charlie Blackman will stand in now, and suddenly the bases are loaded here with two away. Yeah, this sort of came out of nowhere, didn't it? But when you've got a guy reeling out there like he really doesn't know what hit him, boy, it's time to put the pedal down. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, this is in the air to left center field and deep. Can the they gapper. run this one down? I don't think so. It's going to land beyond him for extra bases. Two runs have scored. Well, you work yourself into trouble, and now you may have worked your way right out of the ball game. You see he serves up the double here with the bases loaded. If it were up to me, he'd be headed for the showers. What's up, Cueto? What's up, man? What's up, man? Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez as the first pitch to him is in there what? for a called strike one. You can bet they'd love to have him get out of this without having to call him that bullpen just yet. Very weakly on the ground. Throw is in time, and they're oh, able to avoid the huge inning here. I'll be right back, Wado. Let's see what we can do now. Base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Diamondbacks six and the Rockies five. Let's see if PV Cattell can go Martin another inning without giving up a run. Off in the home half of the fourth inning. PV has his target. Here comes the first pitch. Now the bunt attempt hits him here, <laughs> but they're going to say he offered at it, and that's the first strike. And this is a really important a pretty inning bad for him strike. right here. You guys go out there and get you a pitch couple and runs. Still getting you want to throw up a zero, come back in, and see if they can't get you some more. That misses. One and one the count now to the Arizona shortstop. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. The one and two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Automaze comes up with it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. A look ahead to our next broadcast, and it comes your way tomorrow with Zach Greinke, the scheduled opponent, and we'll, of course, have full coverage in high definition right here on the show. A.J. Pollock steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. First pitch on its way. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. PV up to 66 pitches now in this night of work. 
oh, runs out. outside, so it Jeez. goes to 2-0 and now. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. 2-1. That's going to even up the count at 2-2. Two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. LeMayhew's got it. On nice. the first, and PV sets down the first two easily here. Up next for the and he's finding the terrain much second easier to navigate run. this time around. Now, after that four-run inning, this is a guy who needs a quick inning here, and he's two-thirds of the way home. Brendan Drury stands in, looking to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. First delivery to him on the way. Shot to third, but pulled nice in play. at the high corner, and that ends the inning. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks, as it remains a six-five ball game. Leading off the inning, Aaron Judd, and they'll need him to get something going here. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both a lefty and a righty up to throw. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. And on 0-2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. Squared that one up just a little late. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Now the fastball is Come right on. by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Offense, apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game. And boy, the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Joey Gallo will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 0 and 1 delivery. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 and 2. Gorge to third. Lamb has it. Throw in the dirt nice. to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. These are the How tough ones for a first there baseman. If this bounces a little sooner, it's not that tough of a scoop, but you see it short hop him and bounce right up toward his belt buckle. <laughs> not a safe spot. He can't dig it out. Here's Mark Reynolds. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. I think all these hits are making him a little gun shy out there. He's starting to aim the ball and the nibble. When calls don't go your way, that could be trouble. Ground ball left uh. side. Reined in. The second for one. On to Damn. Goldschmidt. A double play. Inning over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We'll be right back at Chase Field in just a moment.
back with Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, as it's Paul Goldschmidt that'll lead things off for Arizona. Phoebe's ready. Here's the first pitch. A fastball here as they'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Come on, well, this man. start's been a real bear for him so far. Uh, you see the pitch count here to start the fifth. That has to be a concern. This yeah. one's a strike. It's one and one. On the ground to the left side. Throw across the diamond by Reynolds gets him for the first out. Now batting. Designated hitter. Yasmani Tomas. Yasmani Tomas will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Here it comes. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Yeah, and you don't have to look much further than that location right there to see why he's been struggling. That pitch is right down the middle to start this at bat. Front door curve is taken. Strike two. And I'll tell you, being in a two-strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. Bases are empty. One man out. Protecting what? on 2 so we'll do it again. Whoa. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. On 0 and 2 if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when Come it's a on. straight fastball. To two balls and two strikes now. Ball. Strike nice. three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Wow, he's, he's using that fastball to devastating effect out there now. So he gets another out here. That's seven in a row now he's set down. Jake Lamb will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time, and then a base hit last time around. And that's in there for strike one. You love to try to be able to get ahead of hitters, and he has thrown a first pitch strike about 60% of the time, but he's not throwing them in good locations, and that's why he's getting hit. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. And now with the 0-2 count, he's got probably five different pitches he can throw here. So as a hitter, what are you going to do? Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. The throw to first is in time, nice. and the inning is over. So a fairly easy inning there for Jake Peavy. Five innings complete. D-backs out in front, six to five. Christian Automaz makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Popped up. Nice. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, it's been a game of offense so far, so no surprise. The leadoff man's on base again. So let's see what we've got in store for us this time around. Andrew Chafin will take over on the mound now here in the sixth inning. Number 40, Andrew Chafin. Tony Walters will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. From the stretch. Nope. And that That's misses ball. ball one. And I think all in all, he's done a pretty good job behind the plate here tonight, but to me, that one's a strike. The 
one and zero delivery. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw goes to first here, so it works just as they drew it up, and now the possible tying run is in scoring position at second. We number showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but he's definitely off to a slow start, so he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. So striding in, Tapia, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. A ball hit hard to the left side. Oh, come on. Quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Now batting. Well, here's one of the few things that hasn't gone his way during this recent hot streak of his. He's been tearing the cover off the ball for the last week or two, and he does it again right here, but this time he's going to come up empty. Come on, DJ. Nice gapper right here. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, as he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Rockies strand one. This one remains close. It's six to five. Jason Mott will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the six. Number 30. Jason Mott. David Peralta will walk toward the plate as he'll lead things off here in the Arizona sixth inning. David Peralta. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. And that's right where you want to be with your specialty pitches. If you can start them knee-high and let them dip out of the strike zone, you'll have a lot of success with locations like that one. The 0-2 home. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Now batting, number 41. Number 41. We'll stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Cut fastball taken for strike one. Right side. LeMayhew's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. The catcher, number eight, Chris Ayanetta. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And standing in now, the catcher, Chris Ayanetta. Come on, baby. Easy out. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Bases are empty here with two men out. Aye. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Now the 0-2 pitch. Hit to third. Reynolds is right there. On to first, and the throw goes Come right by him. dude. Now batting. Uh, you know, this is one of those cases where you have to know who your runner is out there. I mean, this is not exactly Ichiro busting down the line. He's got plenty of time to make this play, but he fires wildly, and they're going to hit him with an error. Cattell Marte will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's ball half that the battle. Out. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Ball 
hit in the air to center field. Blackman is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Diamondbacks. They lead it, however, it's six to five. Welcome back to Chase Field here in Phoenix. We're on to the seventh with the Diamondbacks out in front. And before we get the inning underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Leading off the inning, Charlie Blackman, the as they'll look to get something Seven going here and even this game up. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. Now the pitch. Pulls the bunt attempt back, but it's in there for strike one. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. So the tying runs aboard to kick off the inning. And they had to have that. This is the inning where a leadoff guy is critical. Now, they've got a few Gonzalez. options here with a speedy guy on first to start things out. Carlos Gonzalez will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. in there and it's 0 and 1 a look here at the hits per side here in the late going five runs 12 hits and two errors on the Colorado ledger to this point quick check on that tying run at first and a dive but he's back keeping him close he's set here's the 0 1 a pitch out the throw and just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out the best way a pitcher can slow down the running game is vary his moves hold the ball throw to first show your best move to first or slide step the guy tried to steal on a slide step right there the chances are you're going to be out and they nabbed him yeah really not a bad pitch when you look at it this is at the knees with some movement he just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with the base hit. In now, Aaron Judd running is Gonzalez. High fly ball out to deep right field. Peralta going back. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. Big home up for Judge. Blast Big home. Straight homer. away right field. Home run number five on the year. Yeah. As they move out in front, seven to six. And if he was guessing up there, he was guessing right because he's all over that thing like a shaggy dog, and he drives it over the wall. Silvino Bracho will come on and pitch here with one gun in the top of the seven. Number sixty-one. Salvino Bracho. Standing in now, Joey Gallo, as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. Drilled to the right side. Nice. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. The batter, third baseman, Mark, Mark Reynolds, Reynolds will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one.
Here's oh. a late swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. You want to talk about throwing a fastball in a guy's now, kitchen? Uh, he came in, sat down, had a cup of coffee with him. <laughs> you aren't going to tie a guy up any better than that. Into the box now, Christian Automaze. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. <clears throat> Ready with the 0-1. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Rockies seven and the Diamondbacks six. Leading off the inning, A.J. Pollock, and they'll need him to get something going here. Well, this has been a great game so far, and they're only down by one. So getting this leadoff guy on would be huge for them. Down the third baseline. Throw across the nice. diamond by Reynolds gets him for the first out. The batter, second baseman, Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Sinker is right there for a called strike two. One out, nobody on. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. Throw in time at first for route number two. You know, you always worry about the pitcher in a situation like this because he's the closest one to the action. So, of course, he has the least amount of time to dodge anything that comes his way. But he concentrates well enough to get the baseball and throw the guy out at first. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Two and oh now. You still come after him now on 2-0? I think you have to be a little careful, but yeah, I don't think you can just give up on him. Two out, nobody on. Hey. And this one's over at the knees, 2-1. and one. All even now, 2-2. Two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. The bad pitch, too. Diamondbacks down in order. Down a run in a tight one. It's seven to six. Jake Barrett will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Jake Barrett. 
Leading off the inning, Tony Walters as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Chopping at that one, it's nothing in one. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Yeah, he just chased out of the zone on that first pitch. This time he started to, but he wisely pulled it back. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers, and really nothing to write home about on either line, as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Tapia digs in now after lining out in his last try. And Matt, you know what? It's always a little frustrating when you square one up, you hit a solid live drive somewhere, and all you get to show for it is a nice little jog right back to the dugout. That can get in your head a little bit after a while. Oh, no. And he takes ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Checked his swing there and pops this one up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. Number 41 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The batter, number nine. Sometimes we second use the phrase, baseball. runs coming at a premium, but it's fair to say that none of us will be saying that tonight as we check out our line score. Neither pitching staff has really even showed up. Digging in, D.J. LeMayhew. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Peralta is camped under this one. And he will put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Colorado as they still cling to a 7-6 lead. Mike Dunn is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Mike Dunn. Leading off the inning, Yusmani Tomas as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late, so they need to get at least one back here in this inning. front of it strike one the 0 one on its way turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul on its way the 0 two pitch and he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's a rough night at the ballpark here. Third strikeout. One thing you can't do, though, you can't go into that dugout hanging your head. You got to think, hey, it's over. I'll get another shot to redeem myself. Whether that's tonight or, or sometime in the future, that's the attitude you have to have. Jake Lamb standing in now as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Hey. Called 
strike, 0 and 2. Boy, tough slider right there. Had him leaning back. I don't think he could have done anything with that pitch, even if he did swing at it. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since right coming on. Brother, two six. batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. David Peralta stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Now here's the pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Six runs, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for Arizona. Chopped foul right at home plate. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Here's the 0 and 2. Smoke toward the hole. LeMahieu gets to it from deep in the hole. Throw gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. So 1, 2, 3 go the Diamondbacks. Trying to hold him in the field now. It's 7 to 6. Standing in a perfect four for four so far, Charlie Blackman. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. This is line to left, and there's a base hit, and this five could wind up as an important insurance strike here Woo. as the leadoff man's aboard to start the ninth. Dude is on and they fire. have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Carlos Gonzalez is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. He waits. Now the pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember, the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Got a pretty good lead right there. A runner at first with no outs here. Runners off for second. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. And no throw, as it turns out, as he takes second with ease. Here's a swing and a miss at the hard splitter, even at two. <clears throat> High and deep Another to one. right. Peralta ranging back. Out of here. Wow. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. Jeez Louise. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His second of the game as they jump ahead by three. Number 10. Uh, you know, this late in the game, any extra runs that you can tack on carry so much importance. And this is going to make it a three-run lead now here in the top of the ninth. So that could wind up being a little too tough to overcome. Enrique Burgos will come in and pitch now. Number 36, Enrique 
Aaron Judd will stand in again and we'll take you back to the seventh inning. This was a two-run home run and it was one of the key blows in the ball game thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 0 1 pitch. And boy, oh, this at bat man. is not starting off well as he's behind 0 2 now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Swing and a line drive, but foul. No outs, nobody on. This one's also hit well. Deep down the right field line. Run. But he's going to haul this oh. one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. And right here, you've got the right fielder shading just a bit towards the alley. And I thought he'd have too far to go to get this ball, but he does close quickly out there, and he makes the play near the line. Stepping in now, Joey Gallo as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to shore on to first and there were two down and this is a guy who's going to give up his share of hits but that's because he just says hey go ahead here's my best stuff try to hit it he's got such good stuff that most times when guys do hit it they'll put it on the ground right at somebody ground ball sent back up the middle backhanded off balance throw nice. he couldn't get enough on it so it'll be scored as an infield single and here's a situation where heck just make contact put the ball in play you never know winds up beating this ball out Christian Automaze will step in a ground out victim as last time and that swung on and missed for strike one a runner on first with two away And boy, they're oh. really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Here it comes, 0-2. Pulled toward right center field. Pollock on the run, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. And you know, I think we're starting to see, now that he's got some Major League playing time under his belt, it's starting to come a little bit easier to him. He's starting to drive the ball, and he's starting to drive the ball with authority, too. And this is case in point, as he winds up on second with a ringing double. Tony Walters stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Back up the middle. That will get through into center field. A base hit. And the run is in to score from third. And the runner from second is in to score. Number 68. Settling in now, Tapia. He's one for four for the game. And here's a ball hit in the air. Long run for the left fielder. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And he falls behind 0 2. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Ionetta gathers, and that ends the inning. So they nearly.
Number 41 stands in. Scott Ober will be the new pitcher. Now pitching for the Rockies, number 45, Scott Ober. Number 41 steps into the box. Leading up the bottom of the ninth for the Diamondbacks. Left fielder. And guys, little doubt that the big bat here tonight belonged to this gentleman right here, Carlos Gonzalez. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs, really put his guys on his back and carried them to the victory. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rockies. 11.